Hello everyone, hope you're well. I know it's been a long time. I'm not gonna dwell on that too much, uh, but I wanted to come on and vlog today. This is just a typical lockdown weekend where I'm basically cooking for I think like the second time this whole week. Like I've barely cooked this week. I've been so busy coming home late, just being tired, um, ordering a lot of takeout, which is really bad. And uh, you're just hanging out with me and seeing what I would normally typically do. I know I haven't been on here for a while and I haven't updated you guys, but I think I'm going to leave that for a whole other video. I don't really, I just think this video would be way too long. But I did want to tell you guys that this video is kindly sponsored by Decenio and they did contact me like before Christmas, I think. When they contacted me, I was like, I really don't have space for prints. Like I have so many in my house at the moment. I'm really happy with them. Would you guys be happy for me to gift some my partner's sister they've renovated their house recently um and they were like of course so that's where the prince went so i will just pop on a video that she kindly filmed for me um of her hallway where she's popped them and they just look amazing they look so good and you guys know decenio have so many different types of frames and prints from like you know, nature to graphic illustrations. You guys know I've worked with them for a while. So I was just really excited to give back to someone and um, I know she's really happy with them. So using my code Barbara R, which I will pop up on the screen, you get 30% off prints. And just bear in mind that it is not valid on frames, hand-picked or personalized items. Um, and it's valid until the 21st of Jan. So definitely don't miss out. I know lots of you guys use the code and let me know what you guys get and send me pictures and things like that so continue to do so i really really enjoy it as i said i don't think i'm going to be going too much into what's going on um i think i need to do a whole video on that soon but essentially you haven't seen me for the same exact reasons as always i've just been so busy and working um but things this year are going to change slightly and um, as i said i will address that soon um, I'm cooking, I'm cooking today a bolognese. I tend to do this sometimes on a weekend um, and I've got obviously a lot more time at the moment. And I'll just kind of batch cook a lot of sauce. So then we have it for the rest of the week, especially for our lunches. I find lunches so boring. Like I, because of where I work at the moment, there is literally nothing around there. I always have to bring in lunch to work. So um, this makes it really, really easy. And then also my boyfriend's got lunch because he's working from home. And also I'm still studying. <laughs> literally, I'm still studying. Um, that's something that I will get into in, like I said, a separate video. Um, but essentially my course has been deferred again. Um, so yes that is kind of the day um i hope you guys enjoy it and let's get on to the rest of the vlog i first start off by getting my stuff out mainly also for you guys so i can show you guys what you're actually going to need in this recipe so first of all we start with some mints um you can use any mints you like i've seen people use turkey mints beef mints we in our house like lamb so that's what i'm going for can you even see it <clears throat> so that's my lamb mints I love mushrooms, I've got some carrots, onion, tomato puree, peppers, and you're gonna see what I do with all of those. Then let me leave the camera there. Then we've got lots of garlic, chili, some more onion because that was just left over, passata, and salt, turmeric, black pepper, cinnamon, chili flakes. This is actually the wrong thing too. I need curry powder. Yes, this is all gonna make sense when I walk through this. Um, Oxo cubes, I like to use both an Oxo cube and one of these like jelly ones. And we call this our one, two, three machine, um, which again I will explain, which again I will explain as I am going. And I just like to have a bowl for just rubbish. And I've also got some olive oil. So this is pretty easy. It kind of takes me like half an hour to make. Um, just because I feel like I've kind of got it down and yeah, I'm really excited. It's it's not a traditional bolognese. This is my mum's recipe mixed in with like Italian and also Iranian kind of things. So Italians probably wouldn't have a lot of these things in their bolognese, but this is just how we like it. So firstly, garlic. 
Now, a lot of people will dice garlic in their pasta and, you know, just have it diced. I don't like it. Um, and my mum does this too. We leave it in the sauce and then we take it out. Now, if you like it very garlicky, you can go ahead and leave. I'm using all the little bits of garlic we had left because I don't want to open a new pack. Um, and this is where this comes in really handy. I also am one of those people, I like to tidy as I go along. I hate having like just a whole load of mess in the kitchen. It just gives me anxiety. And yeah, then what I do is when the sauce is basically nearly cooked, I just go ahead and fish the garlic out. Same thing with my onion. We, I only recently started using red onion in the house. I always used to use white, but I do find that it holds a little bit more flavor. I can't take credit for that. And don't actually worry too much about how you start chopping this because it's all gonna go into what we like to call our one, two, three, which is all thanks to Gabby from Velvet Ghost. She kept talking about it in her Amazon favorites and she was like, this is the best thing ever. This is the best thing ever. And I finally caved. And since then, literally making anything has become 10 times easier. You can see how I'm chopping. Also, does any other Middle Eastern like people use? I mean, it's not just us, but this is such a quintessential thing that like all my aunties use. I love these knives. My mom brought them back from Iran ages ago. And I've got loads of them. So literally, all this does is basically dice things really nice and thin. And I hate chunky vegetables, like in pasta sauces. It's just like, ugh, I don't know, I just can't have it. Um, and this just makes everything really small. So I start with the onion. And then I can start making everything else. I also take another bowl and that's where I'm going to put the onion. So all you do is like that. veggies but I'll show you guys I essentially like my bolognese to not look like it has anything in it other than meat but it actually has like three different vegetables in it so we're gonna use this to brown up our meat thin I like it really really nice and thin so we've got those to the side and these are all gonna go together in a minute so I'm gonna do we love these peppers like the really little ones I'm gonna do, is my camera focusing? Sort of. Um, I'm gonna do one orange, one red, and one yellow. I'm gonna wash that. Then take my carrots. I'll do two carrots today. And I love mushrooms. So we'll do quite a few of these. I don't know if this is weird, but I like to peel my mushrooms. Um, this is just something that my mum always taught me again people i'm sure just wash them and they're fine but this is just what i do and you can start popping them in the one two three because i don't mind if the veggies are all cooking together i'm probably losing i'm also trying to be quick in this video so do the pepper. Again, you can do these separately or you can cut these as big or as small as you want. This is just my personal preference. I haven't cooked with you guys in so long. Do you guys remember my mum and I used to do it? I've become a lot better. I'm actually enjoying cooking. I think cooking for one is so boring. But now that I actually 
I mean, I work loads, so I don't actually get to cook as much as I probably want to. But it's definitely something that I want to get better at. And I am being a bit more adventurous. But bolognese is one of my standards, and it's actually the thing that I think I make the best. My boyfriend really loves it. Then I also take some chilies. And I usually use two because, I usually use two because actually I'm making such a big batch that it doesn't get that spicy. Again, if you don't like spice, feel free to omit. But I also really like spice at the moment. It's really strange. I don't even know who I am anymore. Okay, same thing. Okay, so I'm going to move on to frying my onions and garlic now. I hate this induction thing, like um, hob. It is honestly rubbish. I've hated it since the moment we first, well, I first moved in. Because it's just so annoying to like warm stuff up on. So I've just put some olive oil in my big pot. Because like I said, I'm making such a big batch. I'm using a, a larger pot and I'm just going to put in my garlic and the idea of this is my boyfriend's singing in the shower. <laughs> Essentially you want your meat to have lots of flavour so this is just to start that process basically. I also don't put a lot of oil because the meat is quite oily. Ideally to be honest if I was really good and this is something I really should start doing is I would do, and my mum does this, she uses half mince like beef and half mince lamb, but I'm just too lazy. So I can see the garlic is starting to cook, so I'm just going to add, and listen, you can add as little or as much onion as you want, but again, just bear in mind this is like four portions. And you want this to brown up a little bit. So just wet the onions. I might add a tiny bit more oil. I'm actually running out of olive oil. Oh no. It's a good thing I don't really need it. And we went shopping yesterday. Then you're going to take your mint, and I don't need to chop anything else, so I'm happy using this chopping board. But around this time, when the meat is still cooking off, I don't know who, why, I don't understand the explanation, but in Iranian culture, turmeric is used a lot when cooking meat. I think it's got something to do with taking off the smell of meat. I don't know. I don't. This is just something my mum has told me. Italians definitely wouldn't use turmeric in their bolognese, but um, I love this and I use quite a lot. But turmeric has a lot of health benefits as well, um, and it just gives the meat like a, a certain taste. Um, 
and I do this even when I'm making chili and just generally when I'm using like red meats and it just gives it this gorgeous color as well which I don't know if you can see and it just helps like the meat just already has a different smell so my Italian ancestors would probably be like WTF but this is how I like to do it then what I like to do is add the dried oxo cube again whilst the meat is cooking and this to me is the secret to good bolognese is an oxo cube um, again this is something my mum taught me and I do actually think this is maybe authentic I don't know but I'm using a beef one I don't think it really matters too much so I just crumble it and this just gives it like a saltiness and it's just so good without this it's just not ever the same so I'm just gonna mix that and I actually haven't added salt yet I like the size of this pan but it, the handles on it are rubbish they get really hot to show you guys the color that's what it's starting to look like then I'm going to add my tomato paste this is definitely authentic and I like to add this to the meat but I'm sure you can add it when the vegetables are cooking too now I'm going to add the rest of the veggies, so this is mushrooms, carrots, peppers and chilli. All diced up. It's weird, I don't know if you want to see me or if you want to see like what I'm cooking. It's, I, don't, I can't tilt the camera down. Um, but because everything is so small, looks really fast and I'm actually glad because the meat hasn't given off too much oil this time sometimes some of the batches are a bit more oily than others then I like to add some cinnamon I don't know again if this is like traditional or whatever but I find it gives it a little bit it takes the edge off I don't know the flavor or something my mum does that as well then I like to okay basically one time when I cooked this I instead of using turmeric I added curry powder and it actually tasted really good I think they, this probably has some turmeric in it um, but since then I always add like that much and again, I like my bolognese to be a bit spicy. The carrots are a little bit bigger than I would have liked, but it doesn't really matter. Then I add black pepper, and I still haven't added salt, I will be. And I like to add a lot of pepper. Now this is the salt. Salt, I kind of add to taste. I add less than I would think, and then I can always add more. Some chili flakes. And now I add the last oxo, well this is not an oxo cube, this is like the gnaw I think beef little gravy type pot. I don't know, I don't know what they are but they look like that. And that again adds some flavour. 
You could also add some, and my mum I think does, some red wine. But I just, I'm not going to open a bottle of wine just to put it in bolognese. Okay, so I'm going to put the temperature down a little bit. And you can see I barely have any mess. I have a little bit of stuff to clear up, but doing it like that is so much easier. So this is, how much is this? 500 grams of passata. And I use the whole thing. Plus, I use some water. This is another trick my mum does. And I always keep that to the side because sometimes I like to add more or less water. And then you just want to mix it. Ink. Dad's looking a bit more like bolognese now. So this is what it looks like once it's fully reduced. Let me just turn the light up. There we go. And I also added some basil. I forgot to do that before. And then these are our little pots that we just like to freeze. And this kind of has like two-ish portions in each. And we just freeze that. And now we're making the pasta.